Hey, what's up? My name is Kevin Strasser, and I'm going to show you how to create really cool looking light streaks like this one using Photoshop. I am using the CS3 version, but the steps that I'm going to be showing you are steps that you can use in any other Photoshop version that you have. So, in case you were wondering, that's it. Um, one thing that's cool about these is well, if you zoom in here, you'll notice that as you go along the path of the the light streaks the thickness changes like it's skinnier all of a sudden there's a really thick spot right here and then some weird thick bump right here so that's what uh... something that you'll learn in this tutorial is how to make the um light streaks more flowy, more or, more organic looking, and more um, dynamic. Uh, here's some other examples of light streaks, ones that I've created. These are lightning streaks, which are pretty cool. Um, some are just crazy looking. This one's personally my favorite. Some uh, with outer space, some that have rings, they don't even have to be streak like, they can just be um, symmetrical if they wanted to. Uh, that's about it. Um, so, yeah. Let's get out of there. I have more of my, um, I have more artwork of my light streaks shown in high quality in my, uh, Deviant. DeviantArt display, so if you want to check out more of my artwork, just go to the link in the description box below. So, let's go to File, Close, let's close this. Let's go to File, New, and create a new document, click OK. Um, give it a second. There it is background, we'll select the background, you can uh, push shift F5 or just go to edit fill. And we're going to fill this uh, background layer with black and click OK. And that's that. Um, we'll, all, we'll also go over to the paths tab and um, create a new path. Now get your pen tool out and uh, let's uh, zoom out of here real quick. Now what we're going to do is we're just going to create a simple light streak from there to there, whatever. Doesn't I'm not going to be too um, perfect with how the shapes go. Now this is where the dynamic part comes in with how to make it more organic with the thickness changes. What you're going to do is you're going to create another anchor point right next to the end zone. And what you're going to do is you're going to create anchor points that basically follow um, the original path from left to right. So this was the path from left to right. But now we have to repeat the exact same path from right to left because we have to close the path down. And we'll create another one for right here. It's almost like creating a railroad. You know, I have to have the rails follow next to each other, even though that they're dynamic, and if a train follows it, the train's gonna die or something. I don't know. Moving on. Um, so after you close the path down, and if you're and if you're not satisfied with your results, you can fix your path by pushing A, which brings out the direct selection tool, and you can just click on the path, and you can just re you can readjust the um, you can just move the whole thing around if you wanted to, and you can just take the direct selection tool and adjust um, anchor points individually for like oh this is supposed to get start out really skinny and then this is supposed to get thicker you know whatever um, that's the whole point. anyways so after that's done after you're done with fiddling with your path you're gonna go down to the bottom there's a little 
the dotted circle button. If you click that, it'll turn your path into a selection. Then we can go back to the Layers tab, uh, create two new layers. And um, the first layer is going to be called White. second layer is going to be called Color. And for the white, we're going to go to the Fill Options, and we're going to fill it with white. And this is basically going to be the um, kind of like the the light source for the light streaks, kind of like kind of like these, how there's light in the center, and then as it glows outward, it shows its color. As you can see, like there's white here, but as it glows to the outside, as it blurs away, it shows red. So yeah. Anyways, um. Let's shut off the white just just momentarily and we'll go to the color layer and for the color layer is simple we just fill it with the color that we want but I like to fill mine with a gradient and uh, we'll use the same gradient from the previous document that I got rid of and then we'll deselect so that's pretty much it and um, then we'll turn on the white layer again. What we're going to do with the color layer is we're going to duplicate it. Oh, hold on. Let's um, let's call this color original. And we'll take the original color layer and duplicate it. And what we'll do with the copy is we'll go to filter, blur, Gaussian blur. And we'll blur it out just enough until you can see there's a little bit of a fuzzy edge near next to the white layer so that looks good 6.8 click OK now uh, let me zoom in again now that's the glow but that's not enough we really need to bring out the glow more so what we'll do is we'll duplicate the copied layer and that will brighten it out more but we're not done yet. We're going to take the original color again and we'll go to filter, blur, Gaussian blur. And this time we'll bring up the radius a lot higher to like maybe, I don't know, 26.1. And then we'll duplicate that layer again. And then So the glow looks a little bit more intense, and we'll go back to the original color and we'll duplicate it again. We'll Gaussian blur it yet again, and this will be for a very large blur. This is the outside blur, and um, we'll duplicate it a few times because it's blurred out pretty well and it's really hard to see. Um, we might duplicate them one more time. All right, so there's that. There's the um, there's the really cool glow effect, and uh, let's uh, let's merge all these layers together. And you're wondering, hey Kevin, why why didn't you just go to the blending options and you know um, done an outer glow on the the color original? I mean, wouldn't that make things easier? It could make things easier, but if you wanted a light streak to change color, the blending options, if you go to right click, go to blending options, and you select outer glow, and if you notice, there's only one color for the glow, and it's just whatever color you make it. The glow doesn't change from green to blue to purple to orange like like the other um, like the Gaussian blur did. However, if you only had one color in your light streak and yeah, you can totally just go to the to the blending options and just pick that color as a glow and then and then do that. But if you wanted, 
your light streak to have more color in it, you don't go to the blending options. You go to the um, you go to the Gaussian blur setting. Um, since I merged all those uh, layers together, hold on, let's do that one more time. Merge layers. What I guess what we can do is go to the blending options and go to the inner glow. Select this as white, and then check the center for the source, and then we can mess with the size. And this, I guess, would be like to mess with the fuzziness of the of the um, of the white. So if I uh, just that in a little bit there. That looks good. Okay. So that's the whole idea of making a light streak. And then from there on you can just do whatever you want, like I don't know, create a new layer and fill it with black, set it to screen, and then go to filter, uh render lens flare and then I don't know, select a lens flare somewhere. Like right there. And then do a curves adjustment. So we'll brighten it up a bit and then bring the redness down and then bring the blue up and the green down just to have that purple bluish color. Mess with the contrast so it looks more fascinating. So that's pretty much it. Um, I don't know. I'm just fiddling around here right now, but you got you pretty much got the whole idea. Um, there's a lot more cool things that you can do with this. Uh, with, there's so many powerful tools you can use for uh, these light streaks um, so keep that in mind and if you liked this tutorial um, please leave a comment below and um, if this video was good enough I might even make more tutorials for Photoshop and um, check out my YouTube channel there's actually a I actually have like a a, a light streak background in my channel which is pretty cool <laughs> and um, subscribe if you want to see more videos I'll definitely I'll have more videos coming up and um, if you want to see more of my Photoshop artwork just go to my DeviantArt account I'll have a link in the description the description box. So, uh, my name is Kevin Strasser, and thanks for watching.